Good morning. Um, welcome to our Sunday online service. This is Pastor Sian Domendosi from King's Touch Church. Um, before we begin, I would like us to say a short word of prayer, and then we get to a session of worship, and from there we'll hear what the Lord has to say to his people. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we adore you. We say glory to your name, Lord Jesus, because regardless of the circumstances in the whole world right now, you remain to be God. You are God and you're seated on your throne and your throne shall never be shaken. We say thank you because you know that you are reliable. We say thank you because your faithfulness has reached us to this very day. And we acknowledge your presence and we acknowledge your goodness and your mercy and your faithfulness that has been enormous upon our lives. We say thank you, Holy Spirit, and we welcome you in this very service. Speak a word to your people. Speak a word to our hearts and our lives. Let there be a change. Let there be a hope that will be risen in the hearts of people for the glory of your name, Lord Jesus. We pray that even the, the presence of angels shall be with us and the presence of the Holy Spirit will be with us. And wherever else and whoever else that is watching and listening, oh Lord, let their lives be touched and let the presence of God be evident in their homes, wherever they are, in their sitting rooms, in their bedrooms, be it they're watching um, um, from their phones, from, from their television set, to, 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 to their tablets, to their iPads, whatever it is, oh Lord, let every single thing that they are using today, let it be simply a means of them receiving your word and receiving a hope and a light for the glory of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray and believe. Amen. Can you hear the sound of heaven like the sound of many waters is the sound of worship coming from your throne There are cries of adoration as kings and many nations lift their voice to make your glory known. Can you hear the sound of heaven like the sound of many waters? It's the sound of worship coming from your throne. There are cries of adoration as men from every nation leave their voice to make your praises known. We'll sing. You are beautiful, you are awesome. 
Shamu Lord. None is like you, O God. There shall never come one like you, O Jesus. Hey. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed worship you, O Lord. Shetebra liere da kahaza and tayara Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels are the redeemed. Worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Baby, say it 
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So we choose to worship you. We choose to glorify your name. We honor you in this place, oh God. You are mighty, you are wonderful, and you are beautiful, oh God. Take over all we are and all that we have. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit permeate in our homes, in our houses, in our cars, wherever we are. Let this whole city be filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let there be peace that surpasses all human understanding, oh God. Because we know, O oh Lord, that we are safe, those that believe in you. And you shall cover us and hide us, almighty Jesus. Us and our homes and our families. In Jesus' name, we worship you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. <clears throat> It's good to be in the presence of God. Um, that's one place you do not trade, regardless of the realities and the circumstances in life. That is one thing you cannot afford to let go and release. Create an atmosphere of the presence of God in your home, in your bedroom, in your house, in your car, in your office. Right now, that's the only thing we can drink from. That's the only thing we can, we can rely on. Because in the presence of God, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, in His presence, we have answers. We have an assurance. We have, we have a hope. Even when you felt like giving up, somehow when the presence of God comes upon you, you feel like a lion again. You feel like you can roar one more time. You feel like you can go out there and hunt one more time. No wonder David said it's better to be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to be any other place. Better is one day in his courts than a thousand elsewhere. That's why you create the atmosphere. You do not wait for somebody to create the atmosphere for you. You do it yourself because the word of God says he is with us all the time. He has never left us. Even in this season, even in these times where some people do not have the solutions, we are with a solution giver. Be encouraged by that. By that. Um, <clears throat> in the same note, I, I, I wanted to share um, the word from from the book of James. I have been doing a study on, 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 on James and a few others. And um, James chapter number one, I would like us to go through it. There are a few things that we can learn from, 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 the, from the epistle of James. <clears throat> it will be encouraging to you. And I, I, I hope and I do believe that you will be encouraged um, I'm, I'm not going to be in your presence for a very long time. So in the shortest of time that I will be with you, I want us to go through the word of God. James chapter number one. Um, you can go ahead and read the whole, the whole portion, but then I, I, I will read the, the, the places that I do believe um, stood out for me. James, a born servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 Hebrew tribes scattered abroad among the Gentiles in the dispersion, in the dispersion um, greetings, rejoice. Consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials. Be assured that the testing of your faith through experience 
um, produces endurance, leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance have its perfect result and do a thorough work so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking in nothing. Verse 5 it says, If any of you lacks wisdom to guide him through a decision or circumstance, he is to ask of our, uh, of our benevol benevolent God, who gives to everyone generously and without rebuke or blame, and it will be given to him. But he must ask for wisdom in faith, without doubting God's willingness to help. For the one who doubts is like a blowing surge of the sea that is blown about and tossed by the wind. For such a person ought not to think or expect that he will receive anything at all from the Lord, being a double-minded man, unstable and restless in all his ways, in everything he thinks, feels, or decides. Let the brother in humble circumstances glory in his high position as a born-again believer called to the, to the true riches and to be an heir of God. And the rich man is to glory in being humble by trials, revealing human frailty, knowing true riches are found in the grace of God. For like the flowers of the grass, he will pass away. For the sun rises um, with a scorching wind and withers the grass and flowers fall off falls off and its beauty fades away, so too will the rich man in the midst of his pursuits fade away. Verse 12 he says, Blessed, happy, spiritually prosperous, favored by God, is the man who is steadfast under trial and perseveres when tempted. For when he has passed the test and been approved, he will receive the victor's crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. 13, he says, let no one says when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for temptation does not originate from God, but from our own flaws. For God cannot be tempted by what is evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each one is tempted when he is dragged away, enticed, and baited to commit sin by his own worldly desires, lust, and passion. Then when the illicit desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And when sin has run its course, it gives birth to death. Do not be misled, my beloved brothers and sisters. Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above. It comes down from the Father of lights, the creator and sustainer of heavens, in whom there is no variation, no rising or setting or shadow cast um, by his turning, for he is perfect and never changes. It was of his own will that he gave us birth as his children by the word of truth, so that he would be a kind um, so that we would be a kind of first fruits of his creatures, a prime example of what he created to be set apart to himself, sanctified, made holy for his divine. 19, he says, understand this, my beloved brothers and sisters. Let everyone be quick to hear. Be a careful, thoughtful listener. Slow to speak, a speaker of careful, chosen words, and slow to anger, patient, reflective, forgiving, for the resentful, deep-seated anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God, that standard of behavior which it requires from us. So get rid of all uncleanliness and all that remains of wickedness, and with a humble spirit receive the word of God, which is implanted, actually rooted in your heart, which is able to save your souls. I, I, that, that is a verse that I want you to, 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 to be mindful of. But prove yourselves doers of the word, actively and continually obeying God's precepts, and not merely listeners who hear the word but fail to internalize its meaning, deluding um, 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 yourselves by unsound reasoning contrary to the truth. For if anyone only listens to the word without obeying it, he is like a man who looks very carefully at, at his natural face in a mirror, for once he has looked at himself and gone away, he immediately forgets what he looked like. He immediately forgets what he looked like. But he who looks carefully into the perfect law, 
the law of liberty and faithfully abides by it, not having become a careless listener who forgets, but an active doer who obeys. He will be blessed and favored by God in what he does in his life of obedience. That's a, that's a long um, 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 portion of scripture. <clears throat> but um, but I, I, there are a few things I, I want us to look at. This is James. And um, 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 if, you read the amplified, if you read the Amplified version, you'll come to realize that um, the very beginning of, 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 of this portion of, of, of scripture, there are those there are those information that they give there are three dots there when you click it there there are those information they give you and and we know that James was a half brother of the Lord Jesus Christ and not only that James was also um, one of the leaders of, 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 of the very early church in Jerusalem and we know him to be um, um, one who converted after the resurrection of Jesus Christ and this is one person who had seen Jesus. They, they had known Jesus from the time he was young. To, to, to they have seen Jesus growing up. Now, it is not very clear if at all um, he's, um, he's, he's a son of, of Mary, the mother of Jesus, or otherwise. All you know is that the Bible calls him that he was the brother of Jesus. Now, somebody who had had a very close encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ, and was also one of the, of, of, of the leaders of the early church in Jerusalem. We also see him in the book of Acts that when there was uh, some type of confusion, he's the one who gave a decision on what should be done concerning the Gentiles and, 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 and those that are Jewish or the Christians who have a Jewish background. So in other words, he is a man who understood the scriptures, he's a man who was full of the spirit of God, is a man who had a close relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, which means his wisdom is one of those that we can we can glean on. His his word is one of the, of the things that we can we can rely on, or we can or we can stand upon. Now there are a few things that he's mentioning, and it is very interesting the way he begins um, his letter. He goes straight forward, not even, um, um, he won't get so deep into the greetings or what. He just goes straight forward and he tells the people, Beloved, consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials. It almost sounds as if he's starting from nowhere. Um, and to me, it speaks something that at times, issues begin from nowhere. One day you sleep very okay, the next day you wake up and there, there is this monster all over the world and, and nobody is allowed to get out of their house anymore. If you walk out of your house, you have to have a mask on, you, you, you have to, to, to clean your hands, something that we should be doing every other time anyway. However, it's like it's from nowhere. However. To men, it's from nowhere, but to God, who is the creator of times and seasons, this is not something that came from nowhere. He had seen it. Now, be it it's from the enemy, be it it's from God, which I don't believe it is, but Jesus made it very clear that do not be alarmed when you start seeing such things because they will happen. There will be pestilences, there will be sicknesses, there will be diseases. You will hear rumors, um, 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 rumors of, of war. You, you, you know, people will start, you know, the, the love of men shall, shall become less and less. Love of people towards one another. Um, Christians will fight against each other. So do not be alarmed when you see or you hear such things. But then again, James tells you that consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials. He says various trials, meaning they will be of different types. They will be of different kinds. They will be of different um, um, magnitudes. They will be of different... Um, uh, of, of, some of them will be of extreme degree, some of them will look very, you know, it will look little, but then it is a various types of 
trials. In other words, you will find yourself in a particular place you never expected that you'll ever find yourself in. And at times you feel as if I hope, I, I wish people would, people had told me prior to, probably I would have gotten myself a little bit more prepared. When it comes to trials, you are hardly ever prepared enough. That's why it's a trial. And um, d depending on how you, you decide to look at it, some people will say it's a testing of our faith. But then again, um, um, somewhere further down, James also talks about being tempted. But then he says the temptation which is from, which is from within is not from God. Let no man say that they have been tested by God. So there are different types of what an, a, a people could call a trial. There is the outward trial, the things that come from life and its effects. But then again, there are those things that come from deep within, out of insecurity, out of fear. And most of the time, they go hand in hand. Right now, when there is fear on the outside, in the inside, the inner man, you will also have this, you'll be caught somewhere in between um, have I done something wrong to deserve this? Um, did we do something wrong as a planet? Did we do, did, are we that displeasing before God? There is truth to that. But then you'll come down to an individual. Will God even hear my prayers if I pray? Because there are people who are bigger than I. People who have, a, they have, a, a, if I would say, a higher level of faith than I. Will the Lord hear my prayer if at all I pray right now? But the word of God says, consider it nothing but joy when you go through this particular season of life because by doing so, there is something that is being built in you. Because now you have time to go and seek the questions you have towards God. You can go now and seek those questions or seek answers from the word of God. And by the reading of the word of God, you're building up your faith. You're building up your inner man. So even in this particular season, it sounds like it's, it's like a paradox. It's, it looks like a very difficult um, um, season, but at the same time, James is telling you, rejoice. Consider it joy. Be grateful that you are going through this right now as a world, as an individual, as a city. Be grateful you're going through this. Why? Because whatever that shall come out of this season will be a matured Christian. It will be a matured marriage. It will be a matured business. It will be a matured mind on how you go about life. Because at times, we just, we want things our way. As a normal human being, the way we are set up, we want things our way. We want things to go smoothly. We just want them to go, you know, I, I woke up in the morning, I have my schedule, you know, up to, to, to 5, uh, 5.30 p.m. Um, this is what I will be doing from 9 to 10. This is what I'll be doing during the lunch hour. This is what I'll be doing. We have our whole day figured out until a trial comes in. It comes and it disrupts, it disrupts your, 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 your entire um, 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 schedule. It, it, it just brings forth this situation or this um, atmosphere of what next? What do I do? What becomes of us? What is the next step? It looks as if there are no answers. It looks as if there is silence all over the place. But James goes ahead and says, Consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various uh, trials. He says, be assured that the testing of your faith through experience. In our generation, to my belief and to my understanding, we have never gone through this experience. This is one experience probably the Lord allowed because we needed it. Never in my life have I seen a people so eager to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ because there is this whole thing of he could be coming back anytime soon as he should because that's what the Bible says. Like he, he said, as you see me living, this is how you see me coming back. As in, it will be in a flick of a second. It will be from nowhere. Now, it's almost like a trial as well. It's almost like when that day comes, 
you can't be ready enough. That's why we ought to be ready even now. But then again, let, let, let's go back to James. He says, through experience is how your faith is going to be built up. Not all experiences are nice. Not all experiences um, 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 are lovely. Not all experiences are easy to, 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 to be received. Not all experiences are, are going to make you feel good. Some experiences are uncomfortable. Some experiences are... They seem like they take longer than they should. You know, um, 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 we started hearing about this thing in December. Then January ended. Then February ended. Then March is like, you know, especially in Tanzania, it's as if it don't. Hey, people, this thing is real and it is here. And then March has ended. Now we are in April. We are in the middle of April. And it looks as if, my God, when will you lift off this thing away from us? When will this thing end? This is what James says. Be assured that the testing of your faith through this experience produces endurance. It leads to spiritual maturity and inner peace. It is this experience that will bring forth inner peace because the world can never give you the peace. Jesus said, my peace I give you, the type of peace I give you, no man can be able to give it to you. But an experience like this will make you seek God. And once you have sought God, you'll have the inner peace. Because the word will, will simply um, 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 unveil that which is hidden. And that is the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding. Which has always been within you. It's just a matter of some experiences and some circumstances make that experience come to life. It says, um, 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 and let endurance have its peace perfect result and do a thorough work in other words it's almost like he's telling you do not be in a hurry to walk away from this experience this this sounds like a paradox this sounds like what are you talking about like i should not be in a hurry he says let endurance have its perfect result and do a thorough work in other words do not cut the process short do a thorough work so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking in nothing. If you're developed in your faith, you will lack nothing because faith will bring forth everything that you need. The Bible says, if at all we need something and we ask without faith, we will not get it. The Bible says, whatever it is that you pray for, believe that you have received and it shall be yours. The believing part, it is the faith part. Because you believe in it even when you have not seen it. Faith is the evidence of things not yet seen. You have not seen it, but you believe you have it. Same way, we believe that this season has passed and we believe that this disease has been lifted off of the nations. Yet, we keep hearing numbers rising. We keep hearing how so-and-so has been infected. We keep hearing how um, 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 they're still looking for this, they're still looking for that, how they do not have the answers. But the Bible says that in that, your faith will be made matured. Because the day you see the physical evidence of your faith, you realize I actually grew. Because in a season like this, when you refuse to be shaken by every wind of doctrine, because a, a, a father down, he, he, he now comes to talk about a double-minded person. Because when this double-minded person is asking, it's because um, 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 he's, he's, in a, he's, he's somewhere, somewhere on, a, on, a, on a highway. Whether I receive it or I don't receive it, um, 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 it is well. Or whether whether um, um, the world finds a cure or the Lord somehow comes through for us or he shields me, it's, it's, you know, it is okay. Others will go as far as I will believe in God. If he does not talk with God, I will go to the other side. I will listen to what the world is saying. Or I will believe in the blood of Jesus. If the blood of Jesus does not work, mm, I will go to the witch doctors. Perhaps, you know, um, 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 they can help me and they can, I will be shielded from this whole situation. But the word of God says, a double-minded person, the Bible says, does not deserve to receive anything from God. 
So in this particular season, because God is still sitting in his throne, we stay focused. We stay focused in faith. We stay focused in his word. Um, later on in verse, um, in verse 21, he says, So get rid of all uncleanliness and all that remains of wickedness, and with a humble spirit receive the word of God, which is implanted, actually rooted in your heart. In other words, that word is already in your heart. The Bible says, which is able to save your souls. Now this brings me to my second point. In the first point, um, um, is that you, you, you stand, you count it all joy because this uh, experience will bring forth the maturity in you. This experience will make your faith grow. This experience will help you root, be rooted in, 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 in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. However, this second thing is about the word of God. If you do not have the word of God, then I don't know what type of a foundation you're standing on because it's actually the word of God that will be able to bring forth or to, 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 to birth faith out of you because faith comes by hearing and in hearing of the word of God. But I love the way he says it here. He says that word is able to save your soul. It is the word of God that has the ability to save your soul. Now we have to understand that a soul is basically the epitome of life. Now if the word of God has the ability to save somebody's soul, to save somebody's spirit, to bring somebody out of a difficult place, out of a difficult situation, because being saved is literally bring, being brought out of something that would have been dangerous or, or would have been... Um, 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 who, or would have caused death or would have caused permanent damage that's being said if the word of God has the ability to bring somebody or to save somebody's soul out of danger how much more will that same word be able to save your business even after this situation how much more will that same word be able to save your marriage even in this situation how much more will the word of God be able to save your children from whatever it is that they are going through it's the word of God which is our foundation if we do not have enough word of God within us then it will be easy for us to be tossed back and forth by every wind of doctrine and because we will be tossed back and forth, we listen to this thing and then we listen to the other. Somebody today says, ah, this thing is so bad. We are all going to die. And then we run to that person. And then another person comes and says, no, the word of the Lord, you know, says that you shall live and not die. Then you run to this other side. Then another person comes and tells you, hey, this thing, have you even heard the numbers? Which God are you believing in? If this God would be able to save these people, why are they, why are they still dying? Why are the numbers keep growing? But this one says, ah, none of you is, is, is going to be falling under, under this particular issue. Like, it will be like Moses. Like, when they counted the number, none of them were found missing. So somebody is caught somewhere in between. But if you do not have the word of God, it will be easy for you to be tossed back and forth, back and forth. But the word of the Lord is the foundation we have. The word of God is the faith we can, is what will produce faith in us. We will endure this season until it is lifted because by the time it is lifted, our faith would have been rooted in the Lord. However, by, by, for our faith to be rooted in the, word of, in, in the Lord, it is for us to keep reading the word of God. It's for us to, to make sure that we listen to that which, to the word that molds us, to the word that encourages us listen to a word that brings you closer to god not further away from the lord listen to something that is not going to bring forth fear in you listen to 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 to, to, to worship music pray but at the same time believe that the word of god is well able to save your soul not just yours but your family's souls your friends, the people that are close to you, the people that are far away from you, as long as you have sent forth 
a word, just as the Bible says, he sent forth his word and he healed us. Then as you send forth a word, that word is able to save a soul somewhere. As you share the gospel with somebody, that word is able to, 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 to bring forth this person out of the quagmire they are in, to save them from difficult situations, to save them from the fear that they have, to save them from the doubt and the uncertainty that they're going through now. As individuals, and as a city. So um, I, I felt like I should encourage us with these two particular um, 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 points that consider it joy. Not that we walk in a gloomy face um, as if we do not know what, what tomorrow holds. We walk in the confidence that the Lord is with us. I, I, I like what Paul says in, in, in Thessalonians that whether I live or I die, I am with God. That assurance, that confidence, that regardless, alive or dead, as long as I'm with God, I am safe. That is what we depend on. That is what we cling on. That is what we hold on to. So consider it joy. Count it all joy in this various temptation, in this various trial, that the Lord will make sure that by the time we walk out of this place, are out of this situation, our faith will be stronger. Our faith will be made um, 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 stronger. And the endurance, let the endurance um, 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 produce the right result. And that is a matured Christian. And number two, have your foundation in the word of God. Do not be tossed back and forth by every wind of doctrine. Because by doing so, you will be confused. And the word of God says that um, you will not receive any blessing from God because you, you, you're not even sure of where you stand on. So we stand and we cling to the word of the Lord because that word is able to save our soul. That word is able to save our city. Um, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord strengthen you. And may the Lord keep you, you and your home and your family and those that are, uh, those that, um, 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 are around you. And um, encourage somebody today and pray for somebody today. Um, I would like us to pray for, for the nation, for those that are sick, for those that have been receiving um, news which is not very, which can be difficult, but the Lord will strengthen them in this season. And we pray that the Lord will keep us from hearing those news to our close um, members of the family and even as 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 as, as our president has asked for for, for 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 the whole nation to just get into a mode of prayers i want us to pray together and believe god to do the impossible over the nations of the earth father we thank you we glorify you we honor you we thank you for the word because we know that in this particular season, we will walk out of this season having been matured Christians, having been matured people, having been matured um, 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 parents, matured married people, having been matured business-minded people. But at the same time, we will walk out of this place having been um, um, matured people in the word and that we will not be shaken because you know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You have never changed. Our hope and our faith is in you. Our trust is in you. You have never forsaken those that trust in you. And we come forth, O oh God, as a nation of Tanzania. We cry out to you. We cry out to you for mercy. We cry out to you for help. We cry out to you for your well abled hand. We cry out to you, O oh God, for your divine intervention, O oh God. Let your divine hand, my Lord and my King, be made evident over this nation in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing in the hospitals. Let your mighty hand visit every single hospital. Let your mighty hand visit every single home. Let your mighty hand visit 
the, 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 the streets of Dar es Salaam, in the streets of Arusha, the streets of Mwanza, the streets of Kigoma, every place that has been affected or in, in any way touched by this particular disease. In Jesus' mighty name, let your able hand be made evident in Jesus' mighty name. Let your healing hand be made evident in Jesus' mighty name. Let your hand also be seen, my God and my King, even in the finances of this of this nation. Let it be seen even in the health of the nation. Let it be seen, O oh Lord, even in the political um, um, arena of this nation. Wherever and whatever it is that needs your hand, O oh Lord, we do believe your word says that when the righteous pray, O oh God, you will hear us from heaven heaven and you will heal the land let there be healing over the land let there be healing in our homes let there be healing in our hospitals let there be healing upon our families let there be healing my god and my king far and wide in the greatest mighty name of jesus we pray and we do believe that there is absolutely nothing that is impossible with you this shall not be the first time you heal our whole nation because you have done it before you can do it again your word says Blessed is the nation whose God is their God. We thank you because we know you, Lord Jesus, to be God over this nation. We know you to be God over our homes. We know you to be God over our offices, our finances, our, 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 our every single thing that has our name on it. You are God above. You are God on it. You are God who are second charge. For the glory of your name, Lord Jesus, we pray believing that your word is true that whatever we pray for we believe that we have received so father we thank you for peace that surpasses all human understanding over the nation and the cities we thank you for healing we thank you because the numbers that you're going to start hearing oh god they're not going to be numbers of those that are infected but they're going to be numbers of those that have been healed numbers of those that have had a total healing in the greatest mighty name of jesus we send forth your word let there be healing over the city let there be healing over the nation in the greatest mighty name of Jesus and Father God that is not the only type of healing we need oh Lord we need healing for the souls that do not know you as Lord and Savior of their lives oh Lord God Almighty King Father Lord it is one thing to be sick in the body it is one thing to be infected by 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 diseases of the outside but it is another oh Lord when our soul is sick of sin when our souls are far away from you because of sin so Father God I pray for every single person every single soul that has not come to the Lord Jesus Christ we send forth the word of God and we send forth an invitation to their hearts and their minds in Jesus mighty name come to the Lord the Lord loves you the Lord has already um, 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 given a remedy for your life and you will be freed from sin now if there is anybody who does not know Jesus as Lord and Savior of their lives. I want you to pray this prayer with me um, 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 wherever you are. And simply by saying these words, you would have joined the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be... You will be one of the children of God. It is as simple as, 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 as that, really. You believe it in your heart and you speak it um, with your mouth and you will be saved. Um, you will say these words after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me on the cross. I realize that I cannot live without you. I realize that I cannot go through this season that the whole world is going through without you. I need a firm foundation and because you are the firm foundation I receive you today I receive you Jesus as Lord and Savior of my life from today I am born again Holy Spirit I welcome you in my life let everything about me be connected to Jesus I leave my past behind and behold I am a new creation in the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. If you have made that prayer with us, um, there will be a number that will be displayed on, the, on, 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 on your screen, be it your phone or your laptop or whatever it is that you're watching from. There will be a number displayed. Also, there will be a number um, uh, of, yeah, of King's Touch Church that will be displayed for those that want to give be it your tithe, your first fruit as a member of, of King's Touch Church. And if you also want to, to give towards um, 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 the online services, 
whichever way that you, you, you are touched, kindly use that number. And um, may the Lord bless you even as you give. May he increase you. Um, 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 we rebuke the devourer in Jesus' mighty name. Let the Lord multiply you. And, and let the Lord increase and bless the works of your hands. In Jesus' name, we decree and declare it is so and not otherwise. God bless you. See you next time. In the meantime, be safe. Wash your hands and wash your heart. Stay away from crowds. Stay home. If it's necessary, then if, if it's necessary for you to walk out, then make sure that you have your mask and be safe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.